If you take a GLP-1, do you still need to exercise? This is kind of like the basketball player asked if I score a basket, do I still need to run back on defense? GLP-1 drugs are very effective at scoring against weight loss, which is great because it takes a load off your heart. But it also takes a load off your bones, which is not so great. You see, with weight loss, there's less stress to the bones, but that stress causes the bones to become denser. So when that stress is reduced with weight loss, bone density or strength goes down. This not only decreases bone health, but it also increases the risk of mortality due to hip and vertebral fractures. So while GLP-1 drugs effectively help people lose weight through appetite suppression, exercise, which is not nearly as effective on the weight loss front, is great at strengthening bones and preventing fractures as long as it's weight bearing or resistance type exercise. So you may be wondering, why not combine the two? If so, researchers in Denmark read your mind, which is kind of freaky. But their study isn't. It found that a group of people who both took a GLP-1 and exercise for eight weeks lost three more kilograms in the GLP-1 only group. The exercise was 45 minutes of a combination of vigorous cycling and running, brisk walking, and individual circuit training done twice a week. As for bone health, after eight weeks, the bone density of the GLP-1 and exercise group of the hip and spine didn't decrease like the GLP-1 only group and was the same as the placebo group. So while GLP-1 drugs are effective for weight loss, combining them with modern Moderate to vigorous intensity exercise increases the weight loss while preserving bone strength. Just like scoring baskets and playing defense preserves your spot on the team. As always, matches come from peer-reviewed research.